Hey guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to a video number 531 and in this video I'm going to talk uh, how you can enable and disable the fill and drag options in your Excel worksheet and in fact uh, uh, why I'm actually uploading this video because one of my subscribers he's facing issue he cannot use the you know fill and drag option and he wants to find out that what is wrong with this excel file so he forwarded me that file so i saw that and i found it very uh, actually you know amazing that somebody actually used a vba code and because of which he was not able to use that so i want to ma make sure that ne next time you know if you guys have this problem you can see the video and you can immediately remove this you know sort of the the uh, what do you call it the constraint right uh, which is applied by somebody uh, so this is uh, going to be your um, the video 531 and uh, you're watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar right and on this channel you'll find 531 videos on excel vba uh, excel access access vba outlook vba and a couple of videos on the web designing as well uh, but i will work on it as you can see we have just got two videos on web designing but uh, the moment i get the time i'll upload i'll start teaching on the web designing also i'll upload some tutorials now this i'm sharing in my every video because um, uh, uh, you guys uh, keep coming back to me stating that there are so many videos and you don't find the way out you know how to begin because whether you want or should watch video number 300 or 305 or 400 you know how to actually so you don't have to worry about anything the playlist sequence is in front of you these are all the playlists which I have created. Playlist is a kind of, you know, so when you go to my channel for new to, uh, for new people who are watching my channel for the first time or recently, we have got uh, almost 50 playlists created. Uh, so these are the categories and these are all the names of those playlists. If you're looking for the Excel VBA, you must go in the Excel VBA titles, right? If you're looking for the Excel, you must go for only the Excel titles as you can see here. If you're looking for the access, you go for the access. If you're looking for the access VBA, you must go in the titles which you know contains access vba word and outlook vba is a recent playlist which have started as i mentioned as appearing on channel which means we have got almost uh, 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 i mean just four videos actually on the outlook four or five and they are in the proper sequence so when you click on the outlook vba playlist link just follow the videos as it is right so let's go and talk about this so let me quickly read out the email and uh, so this is what he has uh, so his name is Latif um, he written me this uh, beautiful email uh, hi sir my name is Latif and I'm your big fan you're doing so great work sir that I don't have words to express my feelings yes you are the bestest of best thank you so much Latif uh, this is a big 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 appreciation for me and I'm really really you know excited to upload this video for you because it's always a you know a great great privilege and a pleasure to to you know come come back with the solutions and uh, solutions which which can actually uh, sort out your problems right and which can help you in rising so thanks once again from the bottom of my heart that you are loving my channel so each of your video is so informative and fabulous i always promote your channel and there are so many friends of mine who are your fan <laughs> thanks again thanks again really it 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 is really a great great feeling to have a you know a subscribers like you right so keep rocking keep commenting on your channel because it is because of you guys you know that this channel is still you know growing right i i started this channel guys two and a half years back right so um, it's just that um, with every click with every like with every you know comment uh, and the every kind of the you know that appreciation which comes in my way it pushes me to to go and you know upload more and more videos so thank you everybody everybody so this is what he has to say sir i have a problem in my excel file which i'm unable to use i mean i cannot use the drag option here is that a bug or what I don't know sending you a file but please delete it after you find the issue in it 
it's official eagerly waiting for your another great video lots of love well lots of love to you as well latif uh, you didn't mention from where actually writing this uh, are you in india or uh, are you abroad but anyways thank you so much for this lovely email and appreciation now i found the bug uh, it's not the bug actually somebody written some program and i'm not sure whether you know the programming but i'll tell you i'll tell everybody first of all let's talk what actually you're saying and i'm not showing your official file here this is the blank file as you can see so i'm not really going to share your excel file with everybody okay with uh, with with the team so let's talk about the problem now now guys you see in excel whenever you write something for example like this or maybe any any number you have this option you know when you go to the extreme side of this cell and you can drag the options from there right and you can use the copy cell fill series fill formatting whatever right so the thing is in his file what i found that you don't get this plus sign you know that so that you can drag it now if you also have you know face this issue or maybe let's say you want to in other words i would say let me put uh, put this way that if you want to disable this option let's say you don't want to give this option this is called the enable fill you know fill and drag option we call it right when you go to the extreme side of this any any person who uses excel he knows she knows that what i'm talking right so guys if you want to disable what you can do or if you are not able to use then what you need to check for, go to the file and the option okay and here in the advanced option i'm using 2016 uh, but i think this uh, this window is same for 2007 2010 2013 so what you need to do when you go to the advanced side you know here there's an option called enable fill handle and sell and drop so let's say if i just go and uncheck that now i press okay now you see that i don't get that option to drag right so in your file for my dear subscriber latif I first of all went to the file option and I saw that what I did is then I go to the developer tab I click on the visual basic and then I went here and look at this guys in this workbook so basically I found that in your this when you when you click on your you know when you open your file and when you go to this workbook area you find there is a code written right so you just need to remove that code just remove that code delete that like this and save it and next time it will not create the problem now what I'm going to tell to my users that if you just go and write, you know, in the open event, open event, you can, so when you select, you know, when you click here, the workbook comes, right? By default, it is on the journal. You click on the workbook and then from here, you can choose the different, different events. Now, what are the events, guys? I'll brief you on that. Events basically are the self triggered macros. They run themselves. They, you define them, you write them, uh, you know, you, you choose the events from them. So for example, this is the open. If I click open, this macro is automatically created, right? So this means whenever this workbook will open, the macro which you will write inside it, that is going to run automatically. This will not wait for your button, right? And if you want to get really uh, more information on this in-depth knowledge, go and visit Excel VBA events. That's the playlist for you. You'll find there nine, 10 videos and trust me, events are one of my favorite topics because they can do anything right especially uh, they, they are used for those macros where you simply cannot uh, uh, you know write the codes in the modules so they are beautiful they are very very strong they are very powerful right and i have uploaded basic intermediate super advanced videos there right so these are all the events if i choose sheet activate look at this automatically the VB is creating a macro by the name of sheet activate this means that whenever any sheet gets activated whatever you write here that is going to be run automatically right so I found that in your code and uh, so if this is the line which was written application dot draw cell drag and drop equals to false right so what happens uh, when when you when you use this option when you use this option uh, when your workbook gets open it reads this line and if it is going to read this line then what will happen your cell drag and drop option will not be you know enabled right right now i'm i'm just going to run this manually so i'm running this on the effort mode look at this now right i ran this now when you come here you don't see that option despite the fact that it's available in your file and option right so if you go to the advanced you see that guys that's available here where is that option 
yeah look at this enabled fill handle and sell and drag so i ran this and this is going to be unchecked so i again check mark that i click ok now you see that the option is coming back i can drag this right but if i go to the visual basic and i run this command look at this i ran this command i go here you don't see that option that plus sign is not coming that that thin plus sign right so if i go to the file and the option you see that what's gonna be shown here so if i go to that was look at this this is automatically unchecked right so this is uh, what exactly you know uh, i see so please make sure that uh, when you work on these files and if you're not able to get this option you you go to the you know this workbook area and this is where you can you shouldn't be seeing this option or maybe if you go to the sheet one let's say and if if you let's say you write here the, the worksheet and uh, then you select the event from here let's say whenever this sheet gets activated so let's say i want to say that activate right so i write here in the worksheet activate event this means that now this is specific to the sheet this workbook code applies to all the sheets but this is going to be specifically working on your this you know the the sheet one so you go and write a application dot and then you know that uh, the drag option so what was the option sell drag and drop so i go here and press dot sell drag and drop equals to you know false now again guys so you have to make sure that if you're facing the problem if it if the code is not written in this workbook and you're still wondering then what is the you know the cause of it you must go to that sheet area also because this is the another place from where the events are running so this should not be false right or in other words if you want to make that sort of thing you know that if you want to create for your this uh, some purpose that people should not be able to use drag and drop then you can also use that option but make sure uh, you know when the file gets closed it should also you know be uh, you, you set it uh, to 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 true so what you can do you can choose this option from here before close so you'll find here one more event uh, so let's go and check that so this is the one before close so you can see that before the workbook gets closed you know this event because when i'm going to close on the this book then this should be true right so it is always a good practice to keep the you know the the changes which you are making uh, for the you know for the time when the user is working on the active workbook that should be put back to the default right so you can write that as true before close so this will this program will run whenever you close this file right without the user letting you know know about it so this is how uh, you can change all these settings and uh, this should not create any problem for you guys if next time if you find this difficulty okay either go to the vba program or go to the file option uh, so if somebody has not written the vba program i must tell you that you you would get the solution here because this can be off here right so you have to make sure it should be selected so that's it for now and i'm going to see you in my now next video till then take care and have a fantastic learning don't forget to click on the like and guys please do subscribe to the channel